Welcome back to the weekly roundup by Analytics India magazine where we will share the weekly update from the world of technology artificial intelligence and data science and much more everything from new launches latest research cyber threats and events that have happened in the last week Last week the internet giants Twitter and Facebook were in the news again for the same reason their dubious online gatekeeping activities which were allegedly exposed especially during the election season in the US the ceos of both the companies were grilled by the congress seeking explanations behind their decisions while these two companies were sparring with the government reports of google's antitrust case proceedings also came out while in india on thursday prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the 23rd edition of the bangalore tech summit Addressing the summit, PM Modi said that the nation has witnessed a more human-centric approach to development and how using technology on such a large scale has brought about several changes for the citizens. He also outlined the government's efforts to leverage the power of data. On Wednesday, Nvidia reported record revenue for the third quarter which ended in October, which was up by 57% from a year earlier. and also up by 22% from the previous quarter earlier this week at the SC20 Nvidia also unveiled the Nvidia A180 GB CPU GPU which powers the Nvidia HGX AI supercomputing platform the A100 with twice the memory of its predecessor enables researchers and engineers to access unprecedented speed and performance to unlock the next wave of AI Moving on to Apple, last week Apple introduced the M1 microchip and officially marked the breakup of a 15-year relationship between Apple and Intel. M1 features Apple's latest neural engine. Its 16-core design is capable of executing 11 trillion operations per second. TensorFlow users can now get up to 7 times faster training on the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with M1. Luminar Technologies, the billion dollar startup that builds LiDAR tech for autonomous cars, signed a deal with the Intel's Mobileye, a company that develops computer vision technology. As part of this deal, Mobileye will now collaborate with Luminar to use its LiDAR tech for the first generation of its level 4 mobility as a service pilot service and the driverless fleet in countries like Israel, UAE, France and South Korea. Google released a white paper outlining how they are using their popular BERT model to help with finding novel patents. The model trained over 100 million patent publications from the US and other countries using open source tooling effectively performs prior art searching to determine the novelty of a patent application, automatically generates classification codes to assist with patent categorization and autocomplete. Also in a recent paper published in Nature, the authors demonstrated how AI could be used to accurately map trees across the globe. The researchers trained conventional neural networks on satellite images. To learn more about what's happening in the world of technology and AI, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Keep following Analytics India magazine for everything on AI and data science and much more.